Pharaoh as they were crowned. Pay attention to who's placing the crown. There's never a man crowning a man. Because they were all matriarchal. That's why Elijah Muhammad said, no nation can rise higher than its women. It's a couple of key positions need to be replaced. The Black Madonna already um, um, has been selected. And she says she's willing to do whatever the Lord want her to do to clean this mess up. She says she lived her day, so she ain't got nothing to lose. So, um, the whole thing now is contingent upon us. Whether we agree with him or not, all we have to agree with is one thing. We want to be free from the oppression, and we want to walk among the ranks of the righteous. If we agree on that, we can keep our same doctrines and our same way of thinking. All you got to do is don't want to be oppressed and want to be among the ranks of the righteous. And then you will start getting these, um, uh, uh, we are fair kind slogans and in your support because he already been judged. He, he passed just so y'all know he didn't been judged and he passed the test. So he become the standard of review. So, what he going to end up doing now, <clears throat> what he's, this is what is supposed to, what's supposed to happen is the po supposed to be preparing the people to understand what the judgment look like, right? Then there's a couple things that they have to do. The uh, imam of Mas Mariama will have to um, bring in a Sharia um, um, shake to explain how um, a standard of review is used in Sharia law. Because when you use Sharia law, if you're coming from um, before the oppression, the Sharif became the sheriffs. They're supposed to work for us at our command, but they're not going to do it until they realize they rose according to the history of the Sharif. When they know what, because they all of them, the sheriff can deputize a, a person on a moment's notice. We all can be deputized to enforce justice. But the sheriff got to know that they're not part of this system. They ours. They under our jurisdiction. They're not under their jurisdiction. They're not under the jurisdiction of the um of the um corporate United States, the imposters that sit in DC. See, the reason they moved to D.C. is they wanted to do blood rights on top of um, the city that was designed by um, a more being Banneker, designed D.C. in or it's all African conjure. And the goal was to that one they call in the son of man in your Bible. And they call him the Mahdi in Islam. This is all to stir the rise of that over here. And they, they thought that by doing those satanic blood rites over in D.C. on top of where being Banneker has set the sigils of creation that um, they would be able to keep it from happening. Only thing they did was made it happen in a different manner. Um, because the blood and the rites was being used by the enemy, we was using the enemy. We had to have a dog in every fight. And I keep bringing that up because we got to understand we we not helpless and, and we got control. We have the power, but we not using it if we don't use it correctly. It's just like having a 9-volt battery trying to, uh, trying to um, start a car that takes 250,000 volts to start. It's just going to overpower the battery and even make it, ain't going to make it click. And so <clears throat> the waking of the black guys, which they call it the, uh, the resurrection, and they call it the enlightenment age, the age of the return, the Kali Yuga concludes, and all of that stuff is this is the time frame according to the stellar map that match up to the biblical reference. According to the breakdown of the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, the Wisdom of Solomon, 
Forgotten God's Waking Up, in the book of Enoch, this is telling us that this is the time. So when you follow the map, so the imam going to have to have a, um, a shake, explain Sharia law <coughs> and how it, what does it mean to have a frame of reference? Because when you have a judgment, you got to have something to compare it to, right? So that's why somebody had to go first. Farrakhan went first. He passed. Now, all them people that have been calling him hate mongers and everything, they had to answer for that. Because he already been declared righteous in heaven, now they have to answer for that here on earth before the Son of Man. They have to prove it. Publicly and openly, they have to prove it. And so... This is the meaning of the we are fair kind because he been judged already and he passed. He went first. He went first. And that's what um, he had to do his confession at Savior's Day. He did. He passed. He did it. It, it all is exactly what he said. So um, they have to the nation ministers had to know um, what was the obstacle, what took so long, because we could have been doing this years ago. Well, the obstacle was Kali Muhammad and Malcolm X. He passed. Um, Malcolm cleared him himself. Malcolm said he didn't have enough juice to call enough shots to have anything to do with it. He said he wasn't high, his rank wasn't high enough. He said he was hand selected by himself and a, a messenger for the, his position to carry the um, torch. That's what Malcolm said. But I can't go into the whole thing because I got to give it to the nation ministers because they have to know how he passed. He, I mean, he passed. I mean, I, I can't say it no more than that. The judgment, judgment day is here. Farrakhan went first. Farrakhan passed. You know what happened when T.D. Jakes went? Because he went like third. They blew something up to tell him to straighten that wobble up in his character. They didn't want to hurt him because he ain't that far from being righteous. He just got a little wobble he need to straighten up. The elders say he know what it is. So they sent him a message. Farrakhan going to tell him? Because he probably already know. And um, they say Creflo Dollar going to um, have to get a job. And he's not going to be able to stand in the church because he's greedy. He's going to have to earn it by the, by the sweat of his brow. That's what the elders said about Creflo Dollar. And they said all of the Christian ministers need to go to, I don't know, I keep forgetting this guy's name. It's Geno Jennings. So they can learn how to be a righteous Christian. I don't know none of them people. All I know is. Judgment day here. And this is what the elders is saying. And the, so the God's waking up. The God's waking up. And. um, Whatever you are. Is what you always were. And whatever you were, you always are. You can redeem others through self-sacrifice. And you can redeem yourself by the redemption of others. They keep spray painting your skies and feeding y'all um, fallacies. If y'all get your own daylight telescopes, y'all might be able to see through the chemtrails enough to see that it's a parking lot out there. It's a whole parking lot. And um, T.D. Jake's not a joke. Um, he got a wobble. The elders say he got a wobble. I mean, is it something that he can fix that he hasn't fixed yet that he know that he should fix? I think is that he speak too presumptuous myself, but I'm not sure. He know what it is. As for Creflo, he, he got to work. He got to go out and get a job. He got to work his way back up from the very bottom. He got to earn it. And so, um, in 
in this process where we wake up and we want to wake each other up, we support that one that's been already declared righteous, it automatically make us start saying, hey, hey, yeah, that, that, yeah, there we go. Now I got it. Now, because if we don't participate in divide and conquer, we start to connect on the spiritual level. Now, Buju Bantan had a song called Hills and Valley. And it say through this mystical communication, um, we keep on coming together. I love it to see when, oh, you say, I forget how I go. I don't want to butcher the man's song. But listen to that. Buju Bantan Hills and Valleys. You understand we got a connection that's deep. And the only way that we can make it work is what we got to call it. It's called, in the law of success, it's called the master mind group. But we don't all have to be in one room to use it. We just have to agree on one thing. And all of our talents will be geared to what we can do to manifest the creation of that one thing that we agree on. And that the only thing that we want to agree on right now is liberation and righteousness. So somebody that already been judged becomes like our um, the pendulum that the hypnotist used to um, put you to sleep. Well, he become the reverse pendulum. He become the focal point to wake us up. So when we understand frame of reference according to American jurisprudence and according to Sharia law, and then we unravel that we are unalienable rights, what do that mean? You got to be five-fifth realized. And nobody has any respect for you if you are only three-fifths realized. Because the capabilities of a five-fifth realized God is so dramatic that a three-fifth unrealized is foolish. It's, it's closer to being a beast. And that's why they always talk about in the resurrection, um... He raised himself from a beast. Now, I got a, uh, I got a uh, download picture on here. I need to show y'all because y'all understand everything that they telling us in the last few years from the um, Marvel and DC comics and all that has been based upon something that got to do with us. And so I got some. I got a picture on here because this is the last totem. The last totem to be set in the land of Kim. Now, what, how would you know what would be the last totem? If you look over the entire world, the only major mammal that's not in hieroglyphics is the gorilla. But he is in there once. There's a Stella showing you who he is. And this goes back to your movie Panther because... Panther is set in place to guard bats to set in place to guard um, Heru. So she's the guardian. Heru is a warrior already, but while he's an undeveloped child, having come into his own, she has to protect him. So now you see why that Black Panther party was so necessary at the closing of the age. Because they had to protect the path in order for the gorilla, which they called, showed you him, and he didn't want to rule. He didn't want to rule. So he tried to leave it to the panther. So in the movie, they had a panther walking away ruling, but they never showing you he went back home. So that means that he became only a provincial leader. He didn't end up leading everything. He became the leader of where he was originally started at. And that being um, South Central L.A. Yes, Hanuman. And so in the Egyptian um, hieroglyph, there is a picture that shows Thoth on one side, Heru and Aset on the other side of this gentleman. And above his head, you will see a gorilla. As soon as I find my download button right here. What is this? It? Nope, that's not it. 
So anyway, um, while I'm looking for that, um, the thing to know about it is sooner or later, we're going to wake up to who we all are. And once we wake up to who we all are and um, start recognizing who and where we came from, we're going to have abilities, right? And they call them X-Men powers in TV. Then they show you the X-Men with all these. And, but listen to the series that came out in the 80s because the George Bush faction, which we was warned about it by George Orwell in 1984, right? In 1984, George Orwell said, you know, he gave us the book 1984 that showed us the takeover. Yep, the solar monkey. Now, I'm going to do my camera flip here as soon as I get this one to flip. All right, so you have too much time with each person. What's going on, Chief? You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Who you think I'm talking to? I have to see me come up. Yes, King, I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. What's on your mind today? Uh, it's a good one. Well, I'm based in London. Mm. Mm. And we got this whole thing going on now with um, all the uh, toxic mortgages and you've got the man them trying to get people to claim for, the, <laughs> claim for these mortgages and um, uh, Parliament have ruled that it's they're toxic and all this kind of stuff, but no one can get any That's money out of That's because they fraudulent. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me about how Parliament ruling that they were um, toxic. Yeah, so it's a basic Parliament of rule that uh, they're toxic. And um, they're basically saying that um, the, the uh, uh, there's been some underhand play in terms of how they were put together. They are. It's absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah, yeah. So underhand play. So that's that's why they're saying, well, look, you know, it's underhand play. So um, uh, they invite people to come and claim, claim this money back. But I'm thinking, hang on a minute, is that part of the trap? Well, um, on, on the flip, they're going to be canceling. It sounds like it's consistent with the transfer of power. Because mm. while well, oh, they over there, that's the collapse of the uh, mortgage system mm. altogether. Yeah. Right? So if you're saying that they're doing that over there, we got banks closing over here. It's, mm -hmm. it's just two different things from the same thing happening in two different places. Uh -huh. Okay. Western banking is collapsing. The all of them was based on a legal fiction and a constructed fraud. Yeah, because that's what I've been trying to figure out. Because um, the chap who uh, who's basically trying to get these cases through, they they threw him out of the system. So what he's done the last twenty one years, he's been learning all the old laws, the natural laws and all this kind of stuff. So that's what he's been quoting. Because everything he's quoting me, I'm saying I've never heard of this stuff. These natural laws and the laws laws of the tree, so, the, the forest. Yeah. Everything on earth, there's a set of laws mm -hmm. to govern it. Mm -hmm. And we are so, the ones who are supposed to follow the practice, the law, intending as caretakers of the earth. Yeah. What he doing is finding where the ancients have it written in various places around the world. Yeah. We want the law of the forest. If you want to preserve that, 
of the forest that you can never legislate the salvation of the forest. Yeah. Yeah. That's you have I mean. you, you have to character. follow the law of the forest and st if you have the blood ties to the earth and you issue the edict based on the law of the forest, you can say cease and desist on all of the deforestation and it has to stop. Yeah. It's going to be a chain reaction of things that happen before you see it manifest, but it has to stop. And it's not going to stop like slamming on brakes. Yeah. It's going to stop more like a plane landing. Oh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs>